Okay, welcome to the National Home Brew Brewers Library. Today we're going to have a look at how to service the 525 Series Perlec tap. Um, these instructions will apply equally to the 525 PC, which is the chrome to brass version, and the 525 SS, which is the stainless steel version, of course. Looking at the anatomy of the taps, um, just like all taps, they have a little handle up on top, which we'll just want to remove that one. Up on the top section here we have the handle jacket, which threads up along the handle assembly. We'll just remove that one. Then we have the, um, the bonnet, which is this section here. Just unscrews. And looking at this assembly here, we can just lift that whole thing totally out of there. And you can see the pearl here, which is, sits inside the tap up against the forward seat, which is a large, thick um, o-ring. The seal there that goes in underneath the bonnet. The bearing cap, which faces with the opening forward on the tap, and then the shaft assembly. Now, there are only four seals inside the 525. The very back section here, we have the coupling gasket, which is a square profile gasket. It's easy to remove. That's two. And the third one is down inside here. We just need to get something with a little bit of a um, pointy edge, not sharp, preferably, in behind that. And we can just roll it on down and place. Down inside the main forward seal, which is the one that everybody seems to struggle with. Working on how to do that, and it just basically hooks it up like so. Righto. So every now and then if you're getting drips from down inside here, it would be worthwhile to um, investigate this forward seal, make sure that there is no rubbish built up on it, be stone and that sort of thing. If you're cleaning your taps thoroughly on a regular basis, then that shouldn't become an issue. Um, just make sure it hasn't got any damage from somebody swinging them off the tap handle and, and causing damage to the actual face of it. And there like that. Probably the most common leak would actually be from the bonnet seal when it sits in underneath the bonnet itself. Um, and basically what happens with them is they become distorted in shape and so it allows a little bit of beer to get past that and you'll get a um, sometimes a, just an occasional drip and sometimes an actual stream of beer coming out from underneath the bonnet. If you're going to pull it down and replace any of the seals, pull it down and replace all of the seals in one go. It'll save you a lot of labour. We're going to need a new seal kit with all four seals, pull those out, check them and make sure that they haven't been damaged in transit. We're going to need a little bit of a sanitary lubricant, just a little dollop about twice the size of a match head. Just ample. The first one that we need to put in place is the main seal. Just put a tiny little spear, not too much, you don't want to have dags of stuff hanging off there. And just put your finger down inside and guide that into place. And if you need to, using a little probe tool, just pop that down inside there drop it into place behind the two retainers and make sure that it's sitting out. Make sure it's seated, just pop your handle back in and just give it a little bit of a poke around to be sure to be sure. Next seal is the main shaft seal. Just to go down, it's actually in quite a difficult spot to get into the inside there, but if you look inside there with good light, you'll be able to see where it gets retained. Oops. 
pour cette jump air. Fingers help. Using your paper clip or your better tool, just make sure that you're not doing any damage to the seal. seated in there properly all the way around and that there's no little loops of the o-ring sticking up where it can get pinched. So let's drop that down into place now just have a look and make sure that that's all going to line up inside there which it is. And lift that a little bit, pop the bearing cap on there Seat that down with the slot forward. The bonnet o ring, again, just a tiny little bit of lube. Place your bonnet. When you place the bonnet back on there, you don't want to be screwing up tight. It won't help, it will only distort the o ring. Just drop it back a little bit once it actually comes up nice and firm. Just back it just a fraction. Place the handle base back on, and then last but not least, coupling gasket into place, make sure it's neatly back in, and we're right to go. That's it.